today we are exploring an incredible Ford graveyard. Just found a Ford Sierra. Now this is very nice. Another Ford Sierra. Just found an immaculate pair of Recaro bucket seats. Everyone always dreams about finding that special barn fine car. I think I may have just found it. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Now you can see behind me, I am joining my friend Jem and today we are going to have a look at a collection of Fords which have been locked inside a barn for many, many years. Now, this is a special one. There are some really, really rare cars in there and they've been in there for a very, very long time. Let's go and check it out and see what we can find. Okay, so we've got about a 20 minute walk in this direction through this forest of unusual trees loads of christmas trees in here too which is quite funny now i am super super excited about this one now one of my followers actually told me about this location and when he was telling me i must admit i didn't believe him because it sounded too good to be true then he sent me the pictures wow all i can say is wow you are gonna love this video especially if you like forwards okay guys we are here and the first car that pops into my vision is a Volvo 850. Now that is a super cool car. Very nice car. Really, really like that. Obviously, they've got lots and lots of horsepower, that car. Really, really nice find. But we've got transits. We've got all sorts here. We've got an old truckman here. But what is in here and in here is going to blow your mind. Ford Cortina, not just one, but many. Now, before we take a look inside, I just want to show you this Ford Sierra. Now, this is a very nice car. Oh, XR4i. How incredible is that? with the double fin spoiler on the back. I think this actually shares the same dashboard as the Sierra Cosworth and the steering wheel, amongst a few other little bits as well. That is a rare car. That is a very, very rare car. And what else have we got in here? Lots and lots of spares. There's a front end off of mm, something over there. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but... I can't put this off anymore. Now, inside this barn here, there is a collection of cars, which I can promise you, it's just, it's just gonna blow your head, it really is. Now, before I go in there, I just wanna have a quick look here. We've got an old transit buried in the brambles there. We've got another lovely Ford here parked outside. Such a shame, guys, look. There's cars as far as you can see in here. What on earth is that? I can't even see what it is. I don't even think I'm going to get there. It's, it's so overgrown. There's an old tractor down there too, look. There's even more cars in here. Okay. What we might have to do is actually come back to this one 
when the uh, the brambles slowly, slowly die off, so maybe later in the winter time. Um, but right now, me and Jem are going to go and take a look inside this barn. Now, if you've liked what you've seen so far, if you like Cortinas, if you like Sierras, if you're a Ford guy, I can't wait to show you what's in here. Now, you can see these cars have been in here for a long time. This is the main entrance. This is the main entrance to the barn here. You've got this. You've got all of that. You've got this. Plus all of that. How on earth? You know, it's just these cars were put away and they were they were put away for a reason so they were never to be found again but um yeah honestly right guys let's go and check this place out okay guys we are now inside probably the most incredible barn find i have ever filmed for my channel now before i show you the cars the first thing i'm going to show you are these two rocaro ford sierra rs cosworth bucket seats absolutely immaculate although they are covered in dust and spider webs just look at the condition of these seats this is oh, i just don't know what to say oh my god this is amazing this is so amazing now the first vehicle in here is a transit very old Mark 1 Transit now. It's obviously been restored, but I mean, it's been here for, I don't know, 20 years. Nobody's touched it. In fact, this whole place, nobody's been in here for years. <sighs> okay, so let's move on. Now we've got a tractor hiding under here. I'm not sure what make it is. It's a Fulton, Fulton tractor. Very nice. Now, I'm going to have to be very, very careful with number plates. There's absolutely no way I'm putting any number plates in this video whatsoever. So I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to do my very best to keep this one hidden from the people who shouldn't find it, if you know what I mean. There's there's obviously people who watch my channel who watch it for the wrong reasons. And I try and I work so hard to keep these places hidden. And it doesn't help when other idiots upload videos of the same place and they don't put any effort into it whatsoever, you know, to keep them a secret. And sadly, sometimes they do get out and it's completely out of my control. But I do work very, very hard to keep these places hidden. Now, second vehicle is a Mark 1 Ford Fiesta in the original peppermint green. Now, how many of these can be left in the country, in the world right now, in this original condition? I can tell you, not many. I don't want to disturb too much stuff in here, but I'd love to know the mileage on this car. Um, I don't think I can actually get round to the driver's side, or I might be able to actually, if I can just try and put a foot on the back of the tractor and hop over. Actually, that wasn't too hard, it was quite easy. Okay, so the driver's window is open on the Fiesta. Let's have a little peek at the mileage. So, 67,310 miles wow look at it it is completely original full of spider webs this is a proper barn find now i know i said it before but really do barn finds get any better than this we've got probably about 20 classic fords in here but there's another xr4i there there's loads of cortinas in here i mean the person who obviously used to run this place or own it, who still owns it. I mean, it still belongs to someone somewhere, but clearly they haven't been here for a very, very long time. And um, I mean, it's just a gold mine. It really is a gold mine. OK, so I'm going to jump back over here and go and look at some more cars. I'll keep the uh, camera filming just so you know I don't tread on these cars at all. I, I obviously respect them in a massive way. Now, uh, we have another Ford Sierra XR4i here. We have another Ford Sierra. I think this one's probably just an 1800. Um, again, just covered in cobwebs. Let's have a little peek under the bonnet. The original Pinto engine, look. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I'm 
beautiful thing. I love them. Another Cortina. Obviously, this one was in for a restoration, but never got finished. Look at this. Last text, 1986. 1986. There's the door open on this. Oh, that hasn't been open for a long, long time. Guys, look at this. Keys and ignition. 69,781 miles. Oh, wow. This is so cool. I am in my absolute element right now. Right, let's move on. So, next car. Ford Cortina Estate. Again, a very, very rare car. God, this one's been in here for a long time. This has been in here for a very, very long time. And the doors open. I think most of the doors are open on these cars. Oh, the smell. The smell inside here is unreal. Guys, look. 22,322 miles. Keys in ignition. And what looks like the paperwork is on the passenger seat. Oh my goodness me. Wow. I mean, it's covered in mould and dust, but just look at the condition of those seats. Look at the interior. This is an absolute gold mine. Like I said before, if any of you guys like Fords, I mean, this place is just on another level. This... Okay, this is another XR4i, I think. But look at those wheels. Those wheels look really special. I want to know what that car is. That That is going to be a very, very special car right there. Okay, so let's head back this way. God. Again, I'm trying very, very hard. I mean, I will go over the video not to put any number plates in this whatsoever. So there's absolutely no way of anyone tracing these cars or where they've come from. So, Sierra XR4i. Again, just look at the condition of it on the passenger side. Look at the seals, there's no rust on this car anywhere. Not a single bit. <laughs> look at the door cards, the, the door cards are like brand new. This is oh, I just don't know what to say, I really don't. Okay, so now this. Oh, I don't know what this is. It's obviously a Ford Sierra, but. Merkel, I've never heard of that. It's obviously a German tuning company of some sort. Now, sadly, it has got quite a bit of damage on the car. It's quite a nasty dent on the side there. And again, it looks like it's hit a lamppost or something. Or someone's put it into a. A twin post sideways and um oh, squeeze through. Sadly that's a that's a write off. Again we've got the twin spoiler. XR4 TI XR4 TI Guys I've never heard of that and I'm guessing the T stands for turbo. Maybe that's why it's ended up in a in a pole sideways, <laughs> who knows? Try the door. I don't think it's going to open. Yes, it does. The door does open. God, look at the cobwebs. Look at those cobwebs. But look at the mileage. 70,335 miles. Now, the same badge is on the steering wheel. And if you look on the dashboard, it's got like a carpet. And it's on there too. So this must be a genuine car. I've never even heard of it. But guys, please pop it in the comments below if you know what this model is, what the history of this car is. Um, okay, I think I'm going to have to have a look under the bonnet now. Okay, guys, I really, really want to know what engine is in this car. Now, I think the TI stands for turbo injection. So what I'm going to do is pass my torch to Jem. And what I'm going to do is just remove this box of wheel nuts very carefully and just place it here and 
I'm going to move that as well. That looks like that's been moved at some point. Put that there. I'm going to have a little peek on the bonnet. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> 2.8 EFI turbo. Oh my goodness me. Now this, this must be super, super rare. This must be rarer than a Sierra Cosworth. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Is that 2.8 or is it 2.3? 2.3, sorry, 2.3 EFI. Look at the size of that turbocharger. Okay, I'm not sure we're going to be able to top this car today, although it is quite badly damaged. I don't, I just, <laughs> I don't know what to say, I really don't. I'm going to pop that back. There, as I found it. Put these back right where I found them to. Oh, wow, guys. <laughs> Need I say anything else? Okay, we've got another Ford Cortina here. Now, there seems to be more Cortinas than anything else in here, so obviously he liked his Cortinas. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to squeeze down here and open the door on this one because it's quite close. I have to be very, very careful. Put the camera in. God, that smells beautiful. 79,000 miles on the clock on this one. Just look at the interior. Oh, it smells glorious. It really does. Obviously, most of you guys love your cars and you'll know exactly what that smells like. Okay, so we've got a slightly later one here. Oh, this door is actually locked, so I can't show you in that side. What's this one? A 1.6 Crusader. Hmm. Again, potentially another very, very rare car. Now, this door looks like it is open, which it is. Look at it, it is crazy, 67,000 miles. The interior is, oh, it's near immaculate. It really is nearly immaculate. These would clean up so well, these cars. Well, I'm just gonna try and squeeze the camera back out again. Close the door. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a Cortina convertible. Again, I'm not going to put the number plate in at all. Have a little peek under the cover. God, these cars have been here for so long. Wow, look at that. Again, another beautiful car. Oh, God, can it really get any better? Now, what have we got under here? Now, I'm looking at the back. Oh my God. Hang on a minute. White Cortina, green stripe up the side of it. Could this be, could this be what I think it is? Oh my God. My heart is racing 10 to the dozen. Oh my God. We've just found a Ford Lotus Cortina. <laughs> We have just found a Lotus Cortina. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Guys, this is a genuine one. We have just found a Lotus Cortina. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can barely speak. Oh my God, oh my God, this is incredible. Oh my God, I just... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I really don't. Oh, I can't believe we just found that. Oh, I need to sit down. Oh, the, the door lock is actually broken on this car, so I can't show you guys inside. You can see the, the Lotus badge just about on the steering wheel. Oh, it's so difficult to see, though. Oh, the interior looks immaculate. 
Look at the gear knob shining away with the Lotus badge on it. But just look at the car. The, the car is, it's seen better days. It really has seen better days. You see the other Lotus badge on the back there, look. I can't believe we just found a Lotus Cortina in here. I cannot believe that. <sighs> okay. Pull the cover back over it. As I found it. <sighs> On to the next one, which is another Cortina. Guys, this is just unreal. Is the door open on this one? Of course it is. Oh, look at the interior in this one. 16,452 miles. Oh, it, do you know what? I might even jar that smell and save it for a special occasion. <laughs> look at it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, well, I kind of feel sorry for Jen because she's just standing over there in the dark waiting for me. <laughs> Are you okay over there? Oh, you sat on the floor. Oh, bless you. I'm so sorry. This is just one of those special ones that just, it just blows the rest out of the water. It really does. Guys, we've got another Cortina. Now, this one does look quite rusty, sadly. Let's have a little pop under the bonnet and see. Oh, if I can get it open, it's quite stiff, this one. There we go. Oh, I don't want to lift it too hard because it feels quite stiff. The hinges feel very seized, so I'm not going to go too mad, but someone looks like they've put a lot of effort into that. Lots of shiny bits. Lots of polished. Oh, oh here we go. Shut that back down. Oh, look at that. Wow, the paint is literally just peeling off the side of the door. Look, oh, what's the mileage on that one? The, the clocks, okay, this can't be right. That reads 84 miles. How can that read 84 miles? Hang on, let me just get my other torch out because 84 miles. I mean, it smells like it's done 84 miles, but. To me, it looks like it's been, it's been restored at some point. It doesn't look original. I don't think it is original. I could be wrong. I really don't know. I really, really don't know. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, we've got another Cortina. Now, I know Cortinas are, are lovely cars. I, I know somebody who does nothing but Cortinas and he would love this place so I may even come back here with him one day I think he would love this place look at the tiny little steel I used to have one of those in my mini years ago keys are still in the ignition as well look <laughs> god okay so we've only got a couple of cars left in here sorry we've got one car left which is another Cortina which was obviously being restored um, covered in well, what's left of a car cover just look at that just nothing completely just falling apart there's no interior we've got some refurbished wheels in the boot an old engine crane there we've got loads of tools and stuff that just haven't been touched for years oh, it's such a shame whatever happened here I, I don't know the story I don't know the history but I'm guessing either someone's passed away, someone's inherited it, or they don't want anything to do with it, I don't know. I really can't tell you what's happened here, but what I can tell you is what we found here today is an absolute gold mine. Now, there is one more area I'm gonna have a quick look at, and it's up there, it looks like the storeroom. Now, I think the floor looks pretty solid on that. So, um, I'm gonna take a quick walk up this ropey ladder, and, um, I still can't believe these seats. These seats are just immaculate. Probably worth a small fortune as well. Oh, God. 
Oh, this is scary. Okay, maybe I won't go right up here just yet because this ladder is moving all over the place. I don't know how strong it is. But we've got lots and lots of spares up here. Okay, guys, I'm going to run around and do some pictures. First of all, I'm going to get down from the ladder because it really doesn't feel safe. Oh, my God, and I cannot see where the feet are. <laughs> it's okay, I found it, it's fine. And, um, yeah, sorry, so I'm going to do some pictures quickly and then we'll see you on the outro. Right, guys, we are all done. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Now, because I have missed quite a lot there, I might actually do a revisit on this place because there's so much I didn't see, but we are so pushed for time. We are quite a long way away from home. And I thought, get a video in today. If I do miss stuff, if there's stuff that I haven't seen, then maybe I will do a revisit and I think I probably will. So hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page and TikTok. Like always, I put all the pictures on Facebook. Ten of the best on Instagram. And we'll see you on next week's video.